So I've been looking at all the wheels in the industry and I was like, these things look like crap. Like they just don't, like they're all rounded, the tread pattern's weird. And they just don't look like a masculine wheel for a badass board. So I was looking at wheels and I was kind of using them as inspiration. And I found this one really cool aftermarket like tread pattern. And I was like, that's the one. That's what this is modeled after. And it just makes the board look badass essentially. Today we're going to be going over the BKB Duo Type R and some of the reasoning behind the design. So starting up front, we have these six inch pneumatic tires. These are filled with air and great for off-roading. So these have a flat contact patch that are going to give you a bunch of grip. So they're great for racing as well as off-roading. And then the tread pattern on them is also custom designed so that it will disperse water if you ever run through a puddle or are stuck in the rain. Up next, we have the 236 millimeter extended trucks. And these are designed to give you a super wide stance so that you're stable at high speeds as well as easier carving at low speeds. One of the design elements of the truck is the tapered profile towards the end. So this allows you to use any standard caliber motor mount with these trucks instead of something custom. Following that, we have the deck, and this comes in at 43 inches long, and it comes in two flex levels for different weights. And the reason why the deck is so long is because I'm a taller guy, I need a lot of room to stand on the deck, and it also gives you more leverage when you're carving. Even if you're not as tall, you still get all the benefits of a longer board, including its ability to absorb all of the imperfections in the road. Inside the enclosure, we have a 12S5P battery. I chose the battery with the highest voltage possible that the ESC would accept so that the board has the most amount of torque and the highest top speed possible. Then at the back, we have the Torque Monster Upgrade Kit, which includes two of the 6384 motors, and these will have about 20% more torque than the standard motors that come included with the kit. This setup is belt drive, which means it's gonna be great for off-roading and it's gonna give you a lot of torque compared to something like a direct drive or a hub motor. Completing the package, we have the Voyager remote, which comes pre-programmed with the controller inside the board. From the first prototype to now, I've realized that the board literally rides like a Cadillac. Like it, it drives like a Ferrari and rides like a Cadillac. So uh, the board literally flexes over everything perfectly um, in the road. And it's also super stable with the wider trucks and the bigger wheels, so. Were you like surprised by how that kind of came out or was it something that you were like expecting? Were you expecting it to lean in like speed more, comfort more? Yeah, so I was expecting the board to be comfortable, but I didn't expect it to be this comfortable with the wider trucks. Like the wider trucks are really what make the difference here. Um, and then you pair that with the bigger wheels and you just literally don't feel the road at all. So um, it's like a great combo of having enough comfort while still being rideable and still being fast and still having enough torque to like tow your truck, so. Do you think that there was anything like when you started designing the board you wish you had known from the beginning now that you have like the final piece and it's been out for a little bit? That's a great question. Um, I would definitely say the deck. So originally the, the board was gonna be designed to have two batteries mounted under here so that you could get 120 miles of range. Um, and then it was already too late to redesign the board so that the battery was flat and you have the same size. So if I were to do it all over again, the battery would be flat around the whole, like elongated along the whole length of the board. Um, that would kind of distribute the weight more even and then um, also just give it a sleeper profile. How you go about designing things now or different principles maybe you keep in mind? Yeah, so I think going forward, like, I built this board for me and the fact that it works for other people is great, but I kind of need to take my design and think of everyone instead of just myself going forward. So this board is literally just designed for me. It's long, it's big, it's powerful, um, and that's not what something that's not what everybody wants. So going forward, my philosophy needs to change and encompass as many people as possible instead of just myself. <laughs> has it impacted my spiritual life? Well, I have not had any near-death experiences on this board, so um, it's designed to go fast and be comfortable while you do that. So I can't say I've seen Jesus um, while I've been riding it. So I think I'm, my, my, my religious experiences have stayed quite the same. <laughs>